Hey everyone, uh, I'm Alfred, welcome to Salt and Sanctuary. So, uh, this is a Dark Souls game. Wow, it's pretty extensive. This is a Dark Souls game, and it's developed by a studio known as Ska Studios. I don't know very much about... Oh, I can put in my name. I go with my full name. Uh, wow. Um, this is deeper than I intended. Or suspected. Eh. I guess it still has the binary. Maybe it's just a little too old. Wow. Man. Fern Wreath. That's funny. So uh, this is a two-dimensional Dark Souls game. And, like, everyone knows that. Everyone, you know, straight up admitted, like, hey, this is a two-dimensional Dark Souls game. But, like, no one minds. Like, it's a, oh, yeah. Go right to purple. Mountain Smith, nice. I've actually got something of a beard and mustache for the first time in my life, so that's pretty sweet. I can make it purple. I'm like a hazelnut, though. I have beautiful green eyes. What? Markdor? Tynebeer? Tynebeer? Pardon my dyslexia. Tynebeer. Door Isle? Livin Citadel. Jonas's Landing. Jindarin. Kulkas. Karhi. Kostrak. Kadania. Goldsmeyer. Tristan. I need a well, I need to Google what these mean. Hold on. This is a game by Ska Studios. Ska Studios used to be an Xbox indie developer. Salt and Sanctuary. This origin? Yeah, best origin. Okay. Option during character creation for the appearance of the player. Oh, they have no gameplay benefit. Okay, it's just cosmetic. That's fine then. Uh, Scott Studios used to be an Xbox Live indie developer. Yeah, I thought that this was going to affect stats. <laughs> Straight up orc. Yeah, sorry. I was looking at the map so hard I didn't even notice that my face was changing over here. I'm slightly tan. I mean, I'm going to have a helmet on, I bet, so... I think Coast Rock is going to be me. Um, they made this game called The Dishwasher Dead Samurai, and I think there's another game called like Kitchen Smile or something like that. Okay, Knight. Pretty standard knight stuff. Mage, very small. Short sword and a staff. And then Paladin. Ooh. Big fella. Thief. Chef. It's like Kitchen Smile or Dishwasher Smile is another one of their games. Cleric. Okay, logical. Popper. So this is probably like the Vagrant. Or not the Vagrant, the, uh, the Hunter. You got a whip, a knife, and a crossbow. That's cool, but I'm honestly going to stick with Knight. I do like re Red Shards, Stone Cell Sword, Amber Idol, Grasping Ring, and Crystal. I don't know what these are, mate. <laughs> Gotta be honest. I'll go with a ring, because a ring is usually the best thing to start with. This world has known war for centuries, but peace is finally precariously near. We deliver the princess to the kingdom across the sea, where a marriage alliance would save us all. Failing this mission would plunge us to darker days. Oh, there's two hands. Yep, 
Yeah, it's 2D Dark Souls. Ow, you there, stranger. We've been boarded in the night. I want to kidnap the lady and ransom her. Protect her and save us. We got charge attacks. See, this is a very ambitious game for them. Oh, cool, we got ledge grabs too. Because um, the dishwasher games is... They're very similar to this. But they don't have a character creator and they're smaller. As far as I know. I think they also made Charlie Murder, which is like this. Woof. But yeah, it's the same kind of like bloody sort of style. I think in one game you even play as a ska band. I think that's Charlie Murder. Cool. My roll is pretty heavy. <sighs> when you said that we'd been boarded, you didn't specify that it was a Daedra that we'd been... Oh my god, it's Cthulhu. Alright, something tells me that that's a supposed to lose fight. Yeah, darker days. We've heard, we've heard. I've got a controller here, by the way. Oh, my mic, sorry. I woke to the sounds of waves on rock and knew I was alive. I must find the princess. So people are like, ooh, Hollow Knight. Oh my god, it's like Dark Souls, but bugs and 2D. Or like Blasphemous, like Dark Souls, but Spanish Catholic and, and, and 2D and stuff. But like, those games aren't really Dark Souls-likes. Like, people often say that Dark Souls is a Metroidvania, but it isn't. Because in Metroidvanias, you get items um, and abilities. You never get you never get an ability like you never get like a wall kick you know an air hike. You just get keys, which makes it almost more like Resident Evil. Hello there. You're a fleshy bit of flotsam washed ashore with the rest of us. Hmm? You want shelter, and sanctuary, and maybe salt. Oh, do I have a salt meter? Is it this thing? That's probably it, right? What is a sanctuary without faith? Empty one up the beach. Claim it for your creed. Do you keep the new gods? Um, let's make a decision. Do you want to keep the new gods? Rare. Pilgrim of Devara? Sword's been dying off for centuries, I'm afraid. This is, this has got to be a huge thing, right? No. No? Do you hold no gods? You're the foolish braver from the north. Are you a mountain smith? I, I need to look this up. What is this? religions creeds in salt and sanctuary i know i'm like cheating by googling it but devar is light oh devar is light is like a cleric thing stone roots poison What the hell? What was your creed then? I'm going to go with the iron ones because that seems pretty cool. Men from the mountains of the northern continent of Mokdor are iron ones. I, I would know. I am one. Didn't you know? They believe in no gods and said believing in the iron will of man. They love steel and hate and mad. I've, I found my people. Are you a member of the Iron Ones, then? Yes. No gods will help you here. Except this icon. Hell yeah. So I have a shipwreck, didn't you? Island's full of sailors like you. I thought... Hmm. I stand here on the beach. I see men drown, I see men survive, but I never see rescue. Perhaps we're cursed. But weren't you already thinking that? You know, it's not Dark Souls because he doesn't have an obnoxious laugh after everything he says. I'll have to add it in myself. Have I seen a princess? Perhaps, perhaps. 
Why is the princess so important? Living a dead wall, the same flesh. Maybe I'm your princess. Dawn of the skin of a crepit old man. <laughs> I was literally joking and being like, you know, Dark Souls characters always creepily laugh at the end of everything they say. Well, go find your princess. You know, they say, quest goes a long way to keeping the madness at bay. Sanctuary is simple, but salvation is not. All right, and he's looping. So can I go down? No, okay. Shield or offhand? Oh, it's a message in a bottle. You can parry. It's almost like a Dark Souls 2 parry. Little dash. Oop. We're getting damage numbers now. Anyway, so, yeah, one of the things about, like, Hollow Knight and the other ones like it is, like, switch loadouts. Oh, cool. You don't really get, like, a choice of build in Hollow Knight. Use equipped item. You can put on a bunch of charms, but you're always going to have that magic spell and that default sword, you know? And it's even worse in Blasphemous. Plate mail. Grasping ring. A white ring depicting two grasping hands. On the continent, such a ring would symbolize unending desire. Increase salt from... That's an amazing ring. Varagni and Spatha. Shechushan. Metal. An icon forged of precious metals. Represents the achievements of men. Place the icon in a vacant sanctuary to claim it for the Iron Ones, who have no gods or idols. So the Varagnians were, I think, Vikings hired by the Byzantine Emperor, like by Catholics, to guard shit. And they also showed up in Dark Souls 2, which is weird because Dark Souls 2 is not the real world. Uh, unembellished longsword of a highly refined crucible steel. The crucible method results in blades of exceptional quality, long been popular among seafaring warriors for their reliability. And production has expanded in recent years to accommodate the increasingly widespread use of weapons among heavy infantry and cavalry units in continental armies. And I think a Shetushan is just like a fancy word for the front of a shield, like the painting on a shield. A large, slightly convex heater shield with a central boss. A boss is just the middle part of a shield for deflecting blades. There's a whole bunch of, similar to Vex, I think it's Vexillology, which is just the, the like flag imagery. There's a similar thing um, for what goes on a flag, uh, what goes on the front of a shield. I said flag twice, pardon me. Solid hardwood covered by a steel sheet and painted with the arms of a low-ranking noble family. Shield offers substantial protection from conventional weapons. There are stats in here? There are. Stagger reduction, strike, slash defense is 100. Okay. So I kind of figured that we would have 100 shield. So what's this? Low-ranking chamber of a low-ranking knight. A oh, plate reinforced. Smartly draped with a wool cape, indicating a noble rank. And provides protection from the wind and rain. So am I shepherding the princess as a like royal knight because I picked the knight class? Like, do I have a different quest as every guy? Because that's cool. Defense. And the weight is 14. So I have six strength and endurance. And then five everything else. And it's dex, willpower, magic, and wisdom. So it's almost like the six stats from a, like a D&D. Mountain Smith. Got 105 health. Focus, stamina. My attack is 12.9. I guess that's why it rounds up to 13. Those guys must not have any armor. It makes sense because they're Zambambos. And my equip is almost maxed out. So can I take this off? Unequip. Cool. Okay, I feel a little faster. I don't know if I am. Oh, I've got a heavy, too. Claim Sanctuary. Level up. Need more salt to ascend. Tree of... Sk what? 
So this looks like a standard, normal, regular ass Dark Souls style level up where you put points into your stats. And Dark Souls, I think, usually has like nine or ten stats. I think Bloodborne only has like seven, which is pretty low. But we've got six here. And then this is a side quest thing. I saw that on the wiki when I just peeked. But this is totally new. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is, it's like the sphere grid from Final Fantasy X. Like, this is colossal. It's one of the deepest skill trees I've ever actually looked at. Oh, and it's actually a tree. Look in the background as well. Because most skill trees are not actually tree shaped. Though I do love um, skill trees that are not trees on purpose. Like in Skyrim or in... Um, Um, like the, the skills in Skyrim or in, um, Far Cry 3. Hope you have fun. Dead. Praise Moon. Are these? Oops. Oh, cool. Not now. That doesn't make any sense. This is a shortcut door. Something tells me. So it looks like both of my attacks do 13. But I can charge both of them and get another 3 damage off. Oh, you got a bow, my man. And that was a crit. Despair is for you. These messages don't make sense. Are these online players? I had no idea. That is huge. I had no idea this game had, like, online support. Like, are these players? They have pumpkins on their head. Is like a Halloween thing. The festering banquet. Oops, sorry there, sir. Didn't see you. He's back. It's a very slow, heavy weapon, but that's okay. Oh yeah, I've got stamina too. Takes like half of it to swing. Or to roll. Swinging is pretty good. Pretty good. Oh god. Can I hide that down here? Potato. Oh. Huh. That's more than I would have expected. It's a very generous heal there. So yeah, I think James Silva is the guy's name. And like every game he's done has been like it's it's called Ska Studios, but almost all of them have been James Silva, and then some of them feature someone else. And I know that this I th I, I think actually that this one was him and his wife. I can see the shortcut door. So yeah, I gave this a shot a couple of years ago with my good friend, Rabar. Um, but like, not like a huge one, Red Shard. Huh. Nice. Big obvious door to outside. Stone merchant and a bundle of salt. Hey, all right. I'm gonna go level up. I didn't take any fall damage there. It doesn't mean that I won't take fall damage, but. Need more salt, 560. I'm one dry. Well, I think I picked up a salt thing. Oh, I can offer the merchant. 
Offer merchant to an altar to allow merchants to do business. Oh. He just shows up then. Cool. <laughs> Put it down and stand on it. That's kind of funny. Alright, let's level up then. Level four. Okay, so I've banked my salt. And I got a black pearl. Oh, a black pearl is what that does. Okay, so I have... Class 1 sword fighter and class 1 heavy armor. Okay, so this isn't as... This isn't what I thought it would be. Assassin, poultice pouch, berserker, hammers and axes, fortified strength... So this will allow me to swing through and grab more wisdom. This gives me magic. I don't really need magic. I guess I might start hitting like caps on these things. Dexterity. Will. Archery. Okay. What about you, my good man? Binosone, just here to talk? I appear when a merchant ship I was wrecked on... I was on wrecked somewhere in the Im Imrian Sea. Wash ashore with some corpses and supplies. I'm selling the supplies, but I'll the corpses to the crows. Let's see what you've got, my good sir. Burian fire pot. Recipe for true Burian fire is closely guarded. The stuff in the pot is a close approximation. Pitch fire. Apply it to your weapon. Shock stone. And lightning damage to your weapon. Flintlock shot. We fired from a flintlock. Dragon's tooth. A throwing blade. Salt pouch. Torch. Antidote. Bell of return. Nice. Classic. Salt seeker's ring. Guides you to your missing salt. Your blood sign. Yeah. Flame arrow, normal arrow, bolt. So he sells all the default ammo stuff. The worth of mankind is the salt on his brow, for it's the essence of life. Malthus 417. I'll come back when I have 500 then, because I think buying salt is probably the best way to go. You approach dodging. These must be online then. That's so weird. In Troll We Trust. <laughs> you got combos? We got moves. Wow. This... This is just completely opened up for me. Those things are gone. All right. Torch and throwing daggers. One thing that I really didn't like about Neo is that, um, Bell of a turn, nice. One thing that I didn't like about Neo is that um, all of your like normal stats, like your ability to use magic, or like your health or stamina, are also the stats you need to upgrade to... Okay. That's just a little door to before then for later. Oh my god, they poison you! There's so much here that is just straight up pulled from Dark Souls. And like, I'm not even mad. Like, Dark Souls is good. I don't care. 
I mean, I care, but like. No. That's fine. I'm happy to see it reused here, is all. Because, like, it's definitely not a bad thing that they would reuse this. These are all great ideas and gameplay mechanics. Weird. Okay. I feel like I'm going to be attacked on this thing. Did I find out what was out here? Okay, that just leads back here. That leads back to there. So this is the only path forward, cool. Wow, that guy's got a real powerhouse offense. Try this out. Okay. Oh, so it's almost like Dark Souls 2 because this is like an Estus, but this is a life gem. So if you have time to wait, a life gem is usually more worth it. Either because they're more common or because they're more healing overall. Rotten Walker's Ear. Interesting. Oh, yeah, I can read about those, huh? I'm trying to get this thing out, but the point is, bestiary, John Berserker, Feral Beast, Skullbat, Unspeakable Deep, a Kraken, its most common form. Creatures like these once had a name, but sailors so feared possibly conjuring one by speaking it, referring to them as the Deep, became widespread. What other true name is, it's been lost to the Deep Dark Sea. Rotten Walker, they drop Rotten Walker's ear and potatoes. Crossbowman. That that's really deep and useful. Marauder? They killed your captain and you alone washed up. So how many shipwrecks are there? Like a vial of incandescent red, the mending medicine formula whose formula is a closely guarded secret to the three. Sold in black markets and back alleys to unscrupulous merchants. Quaff it to restore some HP. And not a lot of HP as well. Let me hit another one of those. Sanctuary key. A leather fob with fine sanctuary written in the common tongue of Ascaria. Rod Marker's ear. The smell of the ocean carries on the wind, forever seeping to the fraying flesh. It can be used as a transmutation or exchange with leaders. So it's either a con it's either a like covenant item or it's an upgrade item. That appears to be what the deal is. So I don't think I've been over here, so let's. Go down. Oh god. Yes. The door. Mend. Is that a spell? Oh, a torch. Journey bottle. I think Spatha just journey bottle. What is this? Glass bottle, some parchment, and an inkstone pencil? The bottle seems uncertain about remaining in this universe. I guess that's the like item used to leave the little messages. It makes sense that they would be like little messages in a bottle. You know, sending out an SOS to the world. Locked. Of course it is. Did I go over there? I don't know if I went all the way over there as well.
you like batter swing them. Okay, so there isn't much over here. So I'm glad I didn't come over. Looks like there's a little hidden surprise down there for me. Oh! Jumping does take stamina. Not a lot, though, which is good. Damn, just a little too far. That's okay. This is, I mean, geez, when they said it was 2D Dark Souls, like, like, I don't care. I'm happy to see 2D Dark Souls. I love Dark Souls. One day I'll finish that stream of it. Although, like, streaming does make it a very different, like, feeling or experience or, like, not game, but, like, it does feel different, you know? That's why, like, some people still do prefer LPs, even though streaming is, like, way more popular, like. Some people just like doing an LP more. I'm gonna leave that on. Stone blacksmith. Ooh, you can upgrade my weapon, I bet. And if this is gonna be like really, really Dark Souls, good luck, darkness ahead. What the hell? This, yeah, the sodden knight, <laughs> the soggy boy. Whoa, okay, so he's got a lot more defense than uh, his counterparts do. I plan on getting hit because I wanted to regenerate back with a roll anyway. The damage isn't bad. That's something about this game that I was... Oh, I can dash past... Wow! Man, we in there. It's like a real ass Dark Souls. It's like he's got a giant box cutter. Do I have a taunt? He seems to be aware that I'm like. <sighs> wow! Ooh. Okay. Obliterated. Stolen 585 salt. Return to this location and slay your killer to regain the salt. And the cleric takes my money. Great. <coughs> Pardon me. What do I need to get another... Oh, I was close too. Damn. Oh, I have another three hearty rolls. So they are Estus. Honestly, there are a lot of things in Dark Souls 2 that I like. Like, I prefer even. Like, I really do like the life gemming system. Like, it makes sense that they would use a lot of stuff from Dark Souls 2. Because, like, this game does want to be different. And, like, some of those things might work better in this game than they do in, like... Haha. -ha. Dogs will never learn. Whoa! You got 720s, too. So yeah, let's reiterate here. The other Ska Studios games are games made by one or two people. 
Only one is credited on Wikipedia, but presumably there are a few more people in, involved besides James and James and his wife was on this one, and then it's James and his friends on some of the other ones. Oh, that was a fatality I could have done. Sorry. So let's see here. Oh my god, that's a really good system. Let's say villain. Ooh, can I? Let's say villain dead. A improperly punctuated message may be forever lost in the vacant threads of time. Cool. So we never went in here. Oh! It's another little... Sanctuary. Oh, it's like a mini sanctuary though. It doesn't do all the things. So maybe this is a shrine instead of a sanctuary. Or like a, like a keep. Oh, shoot. Well, now let's see here. I just want to... I feel like a real rat's ass for not coming in here. Yeah, so, like, a lot of the things about, like, a lot of the Dark Souls likes, where people are like, wow, Bloodstain, it's a Dark Souls. Like, I kind of disagree. I don't really think Bloodstained is, like, a... Not Bloodstained. Um, Blasphemous. Sorry, they had a crossover event. That's a big man, baby. I'm gonna take that and start regenerating. Oof. God. Okay, can't be close to him. Jeez, man. Oh, I knocked him out of it. He knocked me out of my thing. Oh, God. Seven seventy salt. I didn't get that much salt, did I? Oh, maybe he has both blood stains. That's nice then. I mean, it is only the start of the game, so. Come on, let me squeeze in there. But yeah, one thing about Blasphemous is, like, you don't really have that much of a build. Like, in Blasphemous, you kind of basically just pick what, like, spell you have on. Uh, <laughs> and you pick what, like thing you put on mea culpa I need to play safer I think because like I want to just ooh those don't come back yeah I mean they wouldn't they're life gems but so maybe I should rely on my rolls the thing is is like ooh did I avoid that damage because that'd be pretty cool Should have dodged towards him. The thing is, is like... When I'm doing the first couple, like, phases of a fight... Oofa doofa. And I don't, like, know what I'm doing. I'm, like, okay with eating, uh... Like, a life gem. Because I'll have time to get it back because I'm just babying it. 
But like when I'm in the later phases of a fight and it's getting tense, I want to be able to have a um. Ooh. I want to be able to have a. Damn, I couldn't get in there. Okay, so hit same amount of salt, 770 salt. So he just must have the same salt still. Am I gonna run out of money? I was kind of hoping on buying that thing from that cleric. I guess I can grind. Nobody can keep up with the grind. So yeah, because like you, pro this is probably a game like where much like Neo or Sekiro, like you can beat the game without spending any money. Like, and it won't even be a thing where like, like of course you can do it, but no one should because it's like you know, grindy and really slow. Oh, there's like a little thing on his health bar. I didn't even notice. Was that there last time? And I just didn't see. Oh, my salt is back. Real hard knockdowns. So, on a boss, you don't even need to kill them to get the salt back. You just need to get their health to the threshold. Now, I don't know if I can get out of here without using an item, and, like, it's not like I'm going anywhere. Ooh, big combos. Dude, he sees the strings that control the system. So that must be a phase two attack. Where he combos like from one to the other. Ooh. Man, only doing seven damage to him is kind of rough. I'm alive. I didn't even notice. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh god, does that mean I have to get all the way through his health bar again? Well. That was a really good attempt. So I feel good about that. But yeah, a German spy, I think, did the... Oh, it's in the same place it was last time. Cool. I don't think he did, like, localization on this. Ow. Couldn't get away. Tag me. That's all right. I think he just, like, worked on the script or something. And I think he's even, like, a friend and, like, knows the guy, James Silva. I love how you can see his breath fogging. It means that he is still breathing, which is never a guarantee in one of these Souls games. Everybody's undead, you know? Every Everyone's... There's always some flavor of undead. Even in Bloodborne, where you're not playing as an undead, you know, there's still an undead. Right. Too close. He tagged me. Ooh. That's all right. The roll helped me. Just gotta give it to this last little bit. Kind of reminds me of the Pursuer. Ooh, if I can get to the ground fast enough, I can just be under him. Okay, we can play it safe and eat this roll. Like, I don't care. Like, I can wait, you know?
Fair cop. Vanquished. Cool. Sodden Knight's Ashes and the Forbidden Key. So that key probably unlocks the thing downstairs. The door where I clicked on it and it just said locked. It's probably that one. Oh god. Pardon me, everyone. I just gotta make like a tree and get the fuck out of here. I wanna I wanna burn this salt. On my no health, I don't want to take risks on my, uh... Maybe it's this door. I mean, that's probably a shortcut door, like... That's normally how it works. Another ear and a red shard. Ooh. You approach dodging. Level five. Ooh, can we get three? Nice. One to spare. So I've got three black pearls. It's kind of weird that you buy uh, an item and then the item gives you a level. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking... I want to get this one. Please, look. There, these things are in a square. And hitting diagonal will... Okay. Endurance. Strength. Endurance. Great. I want that. Thank you. Willpower. That's your stamina. An Apoltis pouch. Ooh, a healing potion. So, I can put in these as well. Do you need aid? Talk. Want to know why Godless Creed deals in prayers? Blessed weapon. Blesses a non elemental weapon with timeless wisdom, adding holy to your attacks. And what do you got? Blessed page. page. A page of a blessed tome. The strength of a thousand miracles clinging playfully to it. Apply it to your weapon and holy damage to your attacks. Warhorn. Carved warhorn. The sounds can be heard in lands where spirits dwell. Only where ghosts of ancient battle patiently listen. They can't affect the world of the living, but can inspire. Sound it repeatedly to gain stamina. Cool. Stay alive. Yes, ma'am. Need some smithing? I don't remember getting to this island. What I know is smithing. And that's what I'll do. I'm a Dorian. Uh, born and raised in Markdor, that is. Never set foot outside of the city yet. Here I am. Last thing I remember. Alehouse, couple rounds, some songs, some cheer. Must have been kidnapped. Must have been out a long time. But see, I've thought about it. Whatever it is the kidnappers wanted me for, they're not getting it now. Can't sell me to slavers. Can't answer me from coin. Not if I'm shipwrecked. They wanted me dead. They'd done it alright, so they didn't throw me overboard. Must have been a shipwreck. No one's come after me, so they must have died in the wreck. So I must conclude, men died trying to best me, yet here I stand. Sure survive something else, alright. Now let me do what I do. Arming sword. Dirk. The attack is lower, but the deck scaling is better. This and the axe. Wooden targe and a heater shield. Some cotton tunics. So how about upgrading? Plate mail. Upgrading armor is one of my favorite things, but no one lets you do it anymore. And the spatha. 10 to 13. Oh, it scales better with dex. Weird. Putting all my points into strength like a sucker. And this makes all of this better. Well, what have you got in terms of pure strength weapons? Because this is just dex. 
The axe, maybe. But I don't have that point in axe. And I don't even know what a crossbow is. I kind of want to give this a shot. Keep your wits out there. Buying a seller here to talk. I want to buy this salt. Oh, and I can also sell things. Not that I have anything, but... Cool. Very fast. Let's see about that damage then, huh? Pretty good, yeah. So can I... Let me see here. Oh, I see. Nice. That's classy. Oh, but that makes me real heavy. Interesting. Kind of cool that you have like two completely separate move sets as opposed to How much are these salt bundles? Bundle of salt, pouch of salt. That's unfortunate. Let me buy some more swords off you, good sir. Ah. Spends all my cash. Oh well. So, what happens when I want to leave? You can never leave. Maybe there's a respec. There was in Dark Souls 2. End game. Cool. That's episode one of Salt and Sanctuary, everyone. I'm kind of blown away by it. Like, this is a lot more than I really expected from a game like this. I mean, like, not that I expected it to be bad, but, like, it's an indie game that came out in a pretty quick amount of time by a very, very small studio. Um, I only know that three people worked on it. Maybe I can look at the credits. Notes. Oh, these are just patch notes. Are there credits? I actually want to see them. Oh, yeah, look. Right here. Online. So, yeah, I must be. But, yeah, um... I'm blown away. <laughs> I had no idea this game was going to be like this. I had no way of knowing. Um, and I'm very pleasantly surprised. It's a very, very... It feels very good. Um, it feels like Dark Souls 2, which I like. Uh, but I, I really enjoy this, so full LP. It might end up the way that Blasphemous ended up, where only the first and last episodes had commentary, so I could talk about how I, how I felt just starting the game from scratch, and then commentary again in the last episode so I could talk about how I felt having, you know, beaten the game and done everything else. Um, and it made sense for that game because, like, it's, you know... There's not too, too much to talk about if you were just doing like a blind LP. Uh, and I feel bad about it because that ended up being very popular. And it's like, wow, the series I don't talk in. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, um, another Souls like on the channel coming out. Uh, I hope everyone's excited. I am. I love playing this game already. Like, this is already a certified hood classic for in, in, in my book. Um, so yeah, I'll see everyone next time. I'm an Alfred, and as I typed earlier, it is short for Alfredric. This has been Salt and Sanctuary by Ska Studios and James Silva, I believe. James Silva and Michelle Juet Silva. Uh, 
it comes highly recommended and everyone should definitely, definitely buy it themselves too. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye.